Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007, and today we're looking at the Terra World Generation plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin that I covered about five years ago, which allows you to create these incredible Minecraft worlds using this generator plugin. And now you can use community-made packs to have a ton of different options. It's super easy to install and configure. So we are going to show you what it's like in game and then how to install these community packs. So this is an overworld that I created. And as you can see, it's got some pretty interesting scenery compared to the typical Minecraft world. And I'm using this in conjunction with the uh, multiverse. I'd highly recommend that. So if we do MVTP to Hydraxia, this is the other world that I created. This is a community made pack. And this is basically a winter wonderland, as you can see by all the snow and ice. And this looks very, very interesting. And we can have a little explore around here. And then of course we could go back to the normal world and see what a boring, typical Minecraft world looks like that is not particularly interesting. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel. You can see I have Terra and Multiverse installed. If we go into the Terra folder, we can see there is a PAX folder and this is where we have the default one that we looked at first and then Hydraxia was the Winter Wonderland I installed. So what we're going to do is install a new pack. So if you go to the Modrinth website, it will have a link to these community packs. So we have the overworld that I used. Uh, we've got some interesting nether and end ones. There's the Hydraxia one. So once you've picked one that you want to install, go ahead and click the GitHub link. And then on the right, there should be a release and we're going to download the zip file. So once it's downloaded, head over to your file manager again, and we are going to upload this zip file. It's going to be as easy as that to basically install it. And now we need to restart our server and then we can create a brand new world. So I've restarted my server now and we can go ahead and create this new world. So I'm going to do MB create and I'm going to call it origin. So the same name as the generator. It's going to be a normal world. And then we're going to put hyphen G because we're using a generator, which is going to be the Terra one, put a colon. And then we have a choice. We could use the overworld that we looked at first. We could use the Hydraxia, or we could use our new one, Origin. Hit enter, and it's going to start the creation of that. It might lag a little bit while it's doing this. And give it a few seconds, and we should be able to teleport to it. There we go. It's been completed, so we can do MVTP, Origin. Hit enter. And now we can see what this cool world looks like. So it's slowly loading the new chunks of this world. I'm already liking the look of it. This looks like a very awesome biome, very colorful. So I've just teleported randomly and you can see there's some pretty interesting kind of caverns here and little valleys. It's very, very cool. So you could have a ton of fun exploring all of this new terrain with these new generators. Now, if you don't have multiverse core and you want it to just generate automatically when you start a new server with a new world you can go into your bucket.yml and in here we are going to paste in worlds level name and then it's going to be a generator with maybe origin and uh, level name can be world for example and then that will allow it to spawn using this generator so here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's not updated to 1.21.4 here, but if you go to the Modrinth link, so on the Modrinth page, if we hit download, we can select the game version. So I was using 1.21.4 and then paper, and that will give me the latest file that is fully updated. And you can see all of the community packs here, and this also will include the wiki. So plenty of good information here. You can even customize the packs yourself. But if you want to download it, head over to the Modrinth website. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.